Hi, hello. Can anyone hear me? Is there anyone out there listening to this? God, I hope not. Um, but on the off chance that there is, hi, hello. Um, my name is Sierra or CJ, whatever. And this is the first episode of the Hooligan Knitter podcast. This is terrifying. Um, I don't know how people do this. I hate this already. Um, but I have been peer pressured and bullied into making a podcast um, by both Johanna of the Fem Knitted Podcast and Anna of the Skinny Legend Knitting Podcast. So blame them if you hate this. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just come on here and talk to my phone about my knits. Um, yeah, I guess I can tell you a little bit about myself. Um, like I said, my name is Sierra or CJ, either is totally fine. Um, I live in the Twin Cities area with my husband and our four cats. Um, so they might make an appearance at some point. One of them is sleeping under the blanket just behind me. Um, but they're my babies. I love them. So yeah, um, this is a knitting podcast in case that wasn't clear. Um, I only knit. I don't crochet. I have tried to teach myself how to crochet in the past and it just involves a lot of swearing and me like getting unreasonably upset. So there's no crochet. Um, I have done a little bit of cross stitch in the past. I haven't in like several years. Um, I started making a cross stitch piece for my husband when we first started dating. We are now married for like a year and a half and I have not touched it. So I don't even think I can call myself like a cross stitcher. So. This really is just knitting. I don't sew, I don't quilt. Quite frankly, I don't have the time or space to be picking up another fiber craft hobby at this point. We do live in an apartment with limited space. So all of the little corners of the apartment are filled with yarn. Yeah, that's about it. We've got four cats. We live in the great state of Minnesota. And that's all I got. I'm pretty boring other than the knitting. Maybe that's boring too. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just walk you through some things that I finished recently, like within the last couple of weeks. Um, show you a couple of the whips that I've been working on. Um, and talk about maybe some future plans. So if that sounds like something maybe you'd be interested in, stick around. Um, all right, so I guess I will start off with my Tolsta. So this is the backwards, first of all. This is the Tolsta Tea by Rebecca Klau, Klo of the Crayabea, I'm sure. If you're on knitting YouTube, you have seen it many times. Um, but I knit this out of Barocco Vintage, which is actually a worsted weight yarn. Um, the pattern calls for DK, but in all honesty, I don't be wearing bras. I did put one on today because I didn't want to like scare you away on our first meeting and I thought that maybe a 17 stitch gauge with a DK would get me in trouble if I wore that like out in public. <laughs> so I decided to go with a worsted weight for this one. Um, I knit this Honestly, in like a matter of days, it was so quick. I mean, it's a worsted weight t-shirt, so. Um, as far as modifications, I did a folded hem for the neck, 
sleeves and like bottom hem. Um, I added, okay, Barocco Vintage Worsted in the colorway Fennel. I used like two and a half skeins, is that right? No, three-ish, two and a half. Yeah, I should take notes, I don't. Um, I don't even really use Ravelry. Like I use it to find patterns um, and like store my patterns in one place, but as far as like keeping notes on my prod, no. I'm not that organized. I have ADHD, nothing in my life is organized. So, sorry. Um, but yes, folded hems. Um, because I did the neckline in stockinette, I used the same needle size that I did for like the whole thing, which um, was a US 10. I think that's six millimeter. So same needle size for all of like the hems and the body, but because I did the cast on with the same needle size, it ended up being like really wide. Um, so I frogged that and started over and I actually cast on the number of stitches called for in the smallest size. And then when I was knitting down the hem to make the folded hem, I just increased the number of stitches that I needed for the fourth size. Um, and yeah, it worked out really well. I even though I knit this with a worsted yarn, it's still like super drapey and lightweight. I love this. I have been going through quite a green, like mossy green phase. And I've been wearing this so much. I love it. I did add elastic to the neckline as well because even though I did cast on for the smallest size, it still was like pretty wide and like flaring out a little bit. Um, so I just sewed in a bit of elastic, which is actually my first time doing that. And yeah, it was super easy. I can definitely see myself doing that on more garments um, as needed, but yeah, I love her. I wear her so much. <sighs> and I will definitely be making more Tolstas. I'm actually working on a second one right now, which we will talk about. So before I even like fully finished that one, like it was off the needles, but I still hadn't done the elastic. I was like, yeah, I am going to need more of these in my life. And so I cast on my second one. Um, this one, I'm just doing the ribbing as called for in the pattern. As you can see, I finished the neckline just split for sleeves. I've done like an inch and a half after the sleeve separation. Is this backwards again? No, I'm just not holding it well. Um, yeah, I feel like that's showing up pretty true to color. And this I am doing out of yarn I found at Michael's. I think this is a new yarn that they're carrying. This is Loops and Threads. Um, heathered Tweed in the color iceberg. Um, it's just this really nice light, like ice blue, obviously, iceberg. Um, but I decided I wanted to make a long sleeved tolsta. I don't know. I just thought that would be really nice because the t-shirt fit so well and was just so comfy and fast to knit that why not make a Tolsta sweater? Um, but yeah, this has been cruising. Um, and yeah, I've been trucking along on that. I just realized that I went straight from finished object to whips. But that's okay, they're both Tolstas. We'll circle back. Again, ADHD, nothing is organized here. It is what it is, I'm sorry. Um, 
Yes, I am knitting these also on a US 10. This yarn is technically a DK weight, but it's really fluffy. Um, and I mean, it's long sleeve, so I probably would be wearing something under it anyway. Um, oh, I guess I could show you the little stitch marker on here. I made this little stitch marker. I like to make stitch markers just like here and there. I'm not like amazing at it. But it's a little snowflake. Is that gonna focus? Maybe. Maybe. I guess. I don't know. But yeah, it's a little snowflake. And I know it's like 85 degrees outside, but it seemed appropriate because the colorway is iceberg. But yeah, we've been cruising along on that. Um, circling back to FOs, my husband's aunt very kindly gifted me some yarn, and in that bag of yarn that she gave me was some, like, wild acrylic art yarn. One skein of it, and I was like, okay, I don't know what to do with this. That's not really the type of yarn that I gravitate towards at this point with like my crafting um it's like what am I gonna do with this yarn so I decided to make a bralette and I don't know when I'm ever going to wear this but it is very soft uh, yeah it's giving Sully from Monsters Inc obviously I'm not gonna try this on for you guys I don't think we're that close yet um but yeah it's giving sully from monsters inc i think it's fun and soft but we'll see how much use i actually get out of this um for this i didn't follow a specific pattern i loosely took numbers slash inspiration from my little secret crop by Jesse May, except obviously it's a lot shorter and I did it in stockinette, which you can't like super tell because it's super fluffy. Um, but I followed like the decrease, um, decreases from that pattern, stitch counts, sort of. I don't know. I just kind of flew by the seat of my pants and made a bralette. Which is something I do sometimes. I like to knit bralettes. Do I wear them? Eh. But they're fun to knit. They don't take long. And then I feel like that dopamine rush of finishing something. Um, what else am I working on? Let's talk about socks. I'm a sock knitter. Um, I, that, that's all I've got really to say about that. I like knitting socks. I always have at least one pair on the needles, frequently more. I think now I've got three pairs on the needles, but we won't talk about all of them um, today. I always have a million whips and then I just kind of like circle through them. I do finish things mostly, um, but it's more like I have options of whips to choose from, which I like. Um, so I'm not gonna show all 1 million and 10 of my whips today. I'm just gonna go through like the top three that I've been working on. So we've got the long sleeves Tolsta and I'm also working on the Peregrine Socks by Sari Nordland. I have the first one finished. I guess I can show that. These are not blocked. I don't really block my socks because they're socks. Um, I just lay them flat to dry. But it's this really nice cabled sock pattern. I'll show you the front, I guess. And I am knitting this out of Silly Goose Yarns, who's a local dyer to me and does gorgeous colorways. Please go check her out. Um, is this her? 
forget what the sock base is called, but it's a sock base, obviously, and the colorway is, I believe, Dusty Rose. And it's a little more pink in real life. This colorway is really hard to capture, but it's got all of these pretty cables running down the foot. So that one's done. I'm just working on the partner sock now. Drop the ball. Um, I've got the toe done, the foot. I'm working on the gusset increases now because I have teeny tiny little feet. And these I am knitting on. I feel like I'm gonna get shamed for my sock needle choice size. Um, these are on high, high sharps, the nine inch. But I knit all of my socks on a US2, which is a 2.75 millimeter needle. And I feel like that's like big for a lot of people to knit socks on. But it's just what I've always done. Um, that's what I knit my first pair of socks out of or on a couple years ago and I've just never felt a reason to change that. Um, I've never had socks like wear holes in the bottoms of them. Like they seem pretty sturdy. I don't know. It's just what I do. But I like to knit them on 9 inch circulars. Generally I am a Chowgu, Chowgu girly. Um, but I wanted to try out the high highs. The high highs do give me a hole in my finger if I'm not careful. So they're not my preferred go-to needle, but I get the job done. And I have some stitch markers that I made on here as well. A little cat charm. Can I get closer? Will it not focus? Oh God. Oh God. I'm not very good at this, am I? That's okay. Um, it's a little cat and it's got like a pearl and then on the other side is also a little cat and it's got like a clear gem thing. I don't know. I don't even know if you can see that very well, but they're cute. They make me happy. But yeah, this is going well. I don't know when it's going to be done. I don't feel any sort of like pressure to work on these. Um, but they're fun to pick up now and then and do a couple of rows on. Alright, put that back. I would show you my project bags, but they're not project bags. Um, but this one is literally like a lunch bag cooler thing that my husband got for work. And I've just been keeping my socks in there. Um, the last whip that I want to talk about today is a ripple camisole by jesse may made may made whatever um and i am knitting this out of cascade ultra pima fine it's a sport weight cotton it is big bird yellow and i love it this is my first sport weight project so it feels like it's taking forever, but also I put this down for a while and didn't pick it up for a very long time. So that's not helping the sense of it taking forever. Um, this yarn was something else, sort of. It was a different whip. It was a summer version of the Pink Fizz by Andrew Mowry. Um, Johanna from Femme Knitted and I were both knitting these out of cotton yarn. Neither of us finished <laughs> um, and it just wasn't bringing me joy. I wasn't working on it. I wasn't, like, I didn't want to work on it. I'd like to have the finished garment, but I don't know. So um decided to turn it into something that I know that I will wear and that is getting a lot more progress made on it um so yeah i'm just knitting it directly from the piece that i'm frogging which i know you're not really supposed to do you're supposed to frog it soak the yarn and then like rewind it up so you don't get like noodle yarn but 
I'm such a tight knitter anyway. It's fine. I don't care. Don't care. And this has a stitch marker on it from the 2022 Wisconsin Sheep and Wool Festival that I went to last summer. Um, we lived in Wisconsin in the Green Bay area until October of 2022. Um, so I'm still pretty new to the Twin Cities. But so far, so good. That wasn't really relevant. It's fine. But Wisconsin 22, 2022 Sheep and Wool. Got this cute little memorial stitch marker. Souvenir thing. But there's that. Um, so those are kind of the three whips that I've been cycling through. Like I said, there's a shameful number of more whips. But as I like pick them up and work on them, I can share them, but I don't think anyone wants to sit here and watch me talk for hours about whips that I haven't touched in months. Um, maybe someday, if that's something you're interested in, I can do like a whip parade and talk about all of them and feel bad about myself, but we're not gonna do that today. Not doing it. Um, I have acquisitions, but I did just recently like go through my stash and reorganize everything. And a lot of things are packed into project bags for things that I'm going to cast on in the near-ish future or like packed away in like my tote of yarn um, because I'm not going to use them like soon. And I'll be honest, I'm too lazy to go back through and dig everything out. So you'll see them as I <laughs> cast on, I guess. I do want to talk about future plans a little bit. Um, my friend and I are going to see Kesha in November, which I am very excited about. So obviously I have to knit an outfit for the Kesha concert, like that's the rule. So I've decided to knit the Allure cami by, I think it's Kadri, Kadri? You know what I'm talking about. Um, and I ordered a skein of sock yarn from Nightingale Yarns. Kelsey. You should also check out. She does beautiful yarns. Um, so I ordered a skein of that. I'm going to knit the Allure cami. And the reason I chose that one is because it's top down, whereas a lot of other camis or tanks that I've seen are knit bottom up. Um, and I don't want to play on chicken. I do that enough. So we're doing that. And I ordered her Pride colorway, which is this like really beautiful sort of like a creamy pinkish base with like multicolored speckles. I'll show you when it gets here. Um, but we're doing that and then over the top of that cami I'm going to make and wear a Look at My Holes by James Watts. Um, but I'm going to do a long sleeve version because the concert is in Milwaukee in November and it's going to be cold. And I know that that pattern is mesh. Um, <laughs> and I bought a white, like acrylic wool blend. So it's like realistically not gonna keep me any warmer than like a short sleeve. But in my mind, it's like, yeah, long sleeve, duh. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But I do have the yarn for the look at my holes and I ordered the yarn for the Allure cami. So those will be cast on at some point. And then I was also gifted in a de-stash um, a ton of a discontinued yarn from Patents and it's like a mohair nylon acrylic blend, very soft and fuzzy. I was gifted like 900 grams of this which is more than enough for me to do like anything I wanted, really. So I think I'm going to do the drizzle sweater. And I don't remember who it's by, I'm so sorry. But 
it's this really beautiful sweater with a cable panel down the front um yeah so i think that's the plan for that and i keep promising my husband another sweater but my husband is six foot six and sweaters take forever for him and i just don't want to but i will because i love him so at some point i think I'm toying with the idea of knitting another long sleeve Tulsa for him and just spacing out the raglan increases so it's like taller on the top, but I don't know. We'll see. What else? Yeah, I talked about recent FOs, whips, plans. I think that's about all I got. Yeah, well, I guess... Thank you for joining me. If anyone watched this, I'm sorry. Beverage of the day is just water with a tangerine flavored liquid IV, which is a fun little powder you can put in your drinks to, I don't know, give you more vitamins and increase your like ability to absorb water. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it tastes good, so I keep drinking it. Yeah. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can. I will link that in the description box below. Probably should have said that in the beginning. We're learning. We'll do better next time, if there's a next time. Um, yeah. I think that's all I got. Again, thank you for watching. Maybe there'll be another one of these. I don't know. Let me know if you liked this one or hated it. Be nice to me in the comments or I will cry. And I'll see you next time. Bye!